This is fantastic, uh, and Norfolk should be very proud of itself. Uh, it, this is the largest care awards anywhere in the country. And just, and just back in the autumn, uh, I had the privilege of speaking to uh, their conference, the Norfolk Independent Cares Conference. It's the largest care conference anywhere in the country, really driving professionalism in such an important area of work. Congratulations to all of you. It's fantastic leadership you're showing in this county, and it will drive up the standards of care, and you should be very proud of yourselves. We hear quite often uh, stories in the media about uh, poor care standards, the latest shock of something that's happened in a care home or something that's happened in uh, domiciliary care. Uh, and I often think about all those care workers working selflessly, day in, day out, doing incredibly valuable work and how demoralising it must be to hear this constant diet of uh, negative stories here, here. in the press. And I always try, uh, when I'm interviewed about the latest issue that's emerged, to say we must always remember there are great people providing amazing care out there. That is what normally happens, and we should never forget it. So I wanted to start by just thanking all of you, and in particular all those people here tonight and beyond, all those people Chris Carter mentioned, the people out there putting older people and others to bed here right now. Thank you for everything you do. It's incredibly important work. There is no work that is more important than this. Giving people dignity, giving people self-respect. Libby mentioned the word kindness. Kindness and care and compassion. These are very important values and you demonstrate it day in, day out, for which I am enormously grateful. It's been, thank you. It's, it's, been a, it's been an enormous and, I have to say, unexpected privilege to be uh, Minister for Care and Support. You'll understand that as a Liberal Democrat, it's not part of your mindset that you'll ever end up in a job like this. But here I am. Uh, and, uh, and it's in a way made me all the more determined to try and achieve something of value while I have the chance. And as my time comes to an end, and I no doubt return to total obscurity again, uh, it's been a great privilege, uh, and it's been great to work in an area that is so important uh, for the people of this country. We face, actually, enormous challenges in both sustaining the NHS and the care system. I fundamentally believe that they need to be brought together, joined up, rather than kept separate. Uh, the, the funding, uh, the scale of the rising challenges as we all live longer, uh, the, the lifestyle conditions and so forth, keep adding pressures to the system. Uh, and we're not going to solve this just from dictating change from Whitehall. We will uh, achieve it, we will achieve sustainability by driving change in our communities, local leadership, making things happen, making things work better. And we're demonstrating it here in Norfolk.